Dream's End. Never even heard of the place. We thought maybe that's where this runway was. What did he actually say to you about it? Uh, he's mostly concerned about the length, the minimum it could be to land the jet safely here. Uh... Now, you know, he, I remember he said that there wasn't much flat land, that it was a very mountainous area, that there was only one good clearing. Did ever fly his jet to Colorado? No, but he could have. I mean, Doug, he took it up on his own a lot. He, uh... You know, come to think of it, he did. He asked something once about some stress factors. He said that the runway would go through some big temperature changes. Mountainous. Freezing. Mountainous. It could be Colorado. Now, would he have to file a flight plan if he flew from Houston to Colorado? Any time he takes a plane up, he has to file a flight plan. Well, where can we get a hold of one of those old flight plans? I guess at the office out at the airport where he kept the jet. Coming since he bought that jet. Joe, this is important. You've got to take my word for it. Yeah, okay, Larry. Oh, great. Cummings Douglas. Well, his will be in here along with yours. Great, right? thanks. There's one to Oakdale. Yeah, I flew it up in January. He wanted to take a trip down to Acapulco. Oh, what about the flights he made by himself? Okay, we got it here. We got the Oakdale, Galveston, Austin, San Antonio, Dallas. Nothing even near Colorado. All right, well, we know that he was getting the place ready for her right before she died. So these are flights in 83, 84. So... We don't keep those here that far back. Now they're in storage. We've got to see them. His wife and daughter's lives are at stake. Okay, I'll get them. Let me give you a hand. You sure you never flew him to Colorado? Never. It's obviously a place they'd want anybody to know about. Okay, here it is, folks. Right in the middle of nowhere. Oh. Say about 70 miles from Boulder. Yeah. How long will it take to get there? Well, that would depend on the aircraft. I mean, if this is where Doug built his private airstrip, it's, it's, it's not going to be very big. He, uh, to be on the safe side, you wouldn't want anything larger than a private jet like his. Well, how long will it take? I don't know. Maybe two and a half, maybe three hours. Yeah, depending on the wind. Barry, will you fly us there? Look. I know I'm asking a lot. We don't know what we're going to find. Mr. Wish, please. They can be in great danger. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's do it. I can be ready at 3.30 a.m. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's too long. That's three hours. No, no, you can't wait that long. Enough time for you to get some rest, shower, and change into something more. Look, Barry, I'd think twice about this if I were you. If this Cummings is the psycho everybody says he is, this could be a one-way flight for all of you. Don't you find anything else? Oh, it's a Miss Hardrope calling with some more info on Cummings. Oh, good. No, thank you, thank you. No, that's a big help. Thanks a lot. Well, she found another notation in Marsha Talbot's notebook that verifies Granite Falls is where Doug built the private airstrip and hangar. Oh, damn, that's but great. But apparently, he also kept a helicopter there as well. So that means the house isn't right there. That'd be my guess. You realize the FBI is equipped to deal with situations like this. Now, what are you going to do if you come face to face with Doug? I'm hoping that he still trusts me. Don't you see, if the FBI get there first and they close in on him, anything's liable to happen. He could panic and hurt them. We've got to get there first. Are you armed? No, we're not. Look, you can't back out now. Just get us there. That's it. Once we're at the mill house, we're on our own. Come on, Barry. You've got to help us. Reckon I better order us that helicopter. And don't worry, we're on automatic pilot. Okay, now we're here. If you take a look, you can see the runway. Is that his jet? Yeah, it must be. And so that's our helicopter down there. Yeah, right? just radio down. He's ready and waiting to take us up to scout for Doug's mill house. Have you got the snapshot? Yeah, right here. Good. Now look, Dr. Hughes, I want you to take this. Hopefully you're not going to have to use it, but you can't walk in on somebody like Doug Cummings, not in his condition, with no way of defending yourself. I think he's right. Thanks, Barry. All right. Just hold tight. I'm going to take her down, okay? 